A soldier girl gorgeous in Bali is not holding back with regards to blogs that have been writing any sort of information about her. So according to her, she doesn't want anyone writing anything about herself or her live life or her business. Now, this is what she posted on her Instagram. All phone calls were recorded using my helper's phone for the judge. I knew I'm going to need the real thing and not the fabricated version. I made everything easy for all of us. Now, she also posted some court documents that she is filing for defamation. And this is what she said. Me and mine are now being threatened by the culprits who be naughty girls because the evil things they've been doing behind closed doors are about to be exposed. Now, Buzzy B is the one who seems to be affected by all of this that's happening because this is what she posted. If anything happens to me, show the cops this, which was messages that read, Hi, Miss Fuze, you will regret ever sending me this message. Have a nice day. I will forward this to the relevant people and I take that this is gorgeous Mbali. Now she then said, after that thread, I was randomly attacked the next Sunday by a stranger at KFC for taking forever to order. She further said, let me give you clues. Y is friends with N and N is acquaintances with Mbali. How desperate can a person be that you have to pay people to come for me? You called Friday evening for over 40 minutes where I pleaded with you to produce the evidence and a case number. Still nothing till today. Your reasoning was that you were chilling at a bar with friends and you guys voice detected me because it kind of sounds like me on one of the pages. She further claimed that she has money and connections in the presidency and high offices and that she can easily destroy me. Now, that's a screenshot of the phone conversation, of the phone calls. After telling her that I'm planning on reporting her to the authorities for ignorantly spreading malicious rumors that I own a blog, which I don't. We spoke and she told me that she does not have an issue with me. The forensic is working on bringing the blog down and the truth will come out. Exhibit A, the night after she told me it is not me that she's after, the, issues, the, the issue is the company I keep. Exhibit B, Michelle Mabuya, Wudze Mabuja, Tato Maganyani, the issue was us being together, the La Parada, the truth will come out and you see her for who she is. I had left this important part out. On Friday the 17th, when she had posted that blogs are now messaging her privately, that was me when I was tired of the rumor that she had started and was feeding. This came after she tried to hack me the night before. See, with me, if I have an issue or something isn't sitting well with me, I have to confront it and I'll not be a hypocrite about it. Three of them then wrote to Mbali to say that they do not own Salty Entertainment. Now someone then inboxed her to tell her to be careful and should watch out for her life because she was dealing with a dangerous person. Now Buzzy then said she could publicly confirmed how evil and dangerous she is by reflecting on herself as TV villain Madlabandu and we all know how bad Madlabandu is on the river and that's referring to Mbali. My problem started on this day. This post was a confirmation. She said I was lying. I wanted to focus on the other blog. I guess I should have never took a step to better myself. <laughs> Salty has cleared my name, but the damage is done. People think I've destroyed them and they won't let anything convince them otherwise. I will not hate on other blogs because I'm afraid that I'll be linked to them. And then ended by saying, I dare you at Gorgeous in Bali, together with the SA Police Service, to produce the case number and proof of all the allegations that I own that blog, with supporting evidence from both Google and Meta. You have until 1 minute 212 on the 27th of March 2023. Now, this is definitely getting deep. We'll see as it unfolds.